the roll so we can establish a quorum because we will end up with an executive session at some point this morning. Senators Huff, Luke DeMeyer, Here. Arthur, Here. Bean, Here. Black, Here. Brown, Here. Sirpoy, Here. Crawford, Here. Esslinger, Here. Hoskins, May, Here. Thompson Raider, Here. Washington, Here. Williams. Here. Senator, you have a quorum with 13 members. <laughs> All right, thanks. We do have a quorum. Um, so the intent this morning is to go through uh, House Bill 17 through 20 and also vote them out of this committee. Obviously, we're backed up against the time frame of 6 o'clock tomorrow, so we need to get these things voted out of committee uh, and turned in today on the floor. We'll have, as we've done in the past, we'll have uh, Adam run through kind of the, the overview. You should have spreadsheets in front of you. Uh, of these four bills, but um, there's, I mean, there's a handful of changes in 19 and 20. There's nothing different from the House version of 17. A few changes in 18, which is maintenance and repair. Um, and then, it, like I said, my, my intent is that we go ahead and vote them out of committee this morning. If there are, and I hate to even say this, and the analysts are going to kill me, but I'm going to do it. If, if there are glaring issues that this committee or members see in the bills I'm not completely opposed to putting together some floor substitutes but let's try to keep those changes to absolutely as bare minimum as we can because I think we've we've tried over the last week and a half since we've had these bills to uh, to make them as as complete for the senators and the representatives that have been by the office. So with that, Adam, if you want to start walking through House Bill 17, which is the reappropriate bill, briefly. Like I said, there's no changes in 17 from what the House says. That is correct. House Bill 17 are uh, items that have been approved by past General Assemblies, and this is reappropriating that authority so those projects can continue. The, you might notice there are some differences between the House and the Governor, and that is because they updated them based on expend, more recent expenditures. Um, as the Chairman said, his intent is to just take the House version of House Committee Substitute for House Bill 17. So that would be a summary of House Bill 17. Yeah, and Senator Hoskins, the summary of 17 is this is the reappropriate bill that came over from the House. There is, there is no change from the House version that we uh, received, I think, Monday of last week. So 18 is maintenance and repair, Adam. 18 is maintenance and repair. There were some minor changes in the Senate appropriation proposal. Uh, under DESE, board operated schools, changing that from budget stabilization to GR. That's at the bot towards the bottom of page one. So you'll see on your spreadsheet any changes. Obviously, are in bold on that spreadsheet. Anything that is the same that as it came over from the House is just uh, is just regular. It's not it's not in bold. So you should be able to identify those changes pretty easy in in all these 18, 19, and 20. Page 3 on 18, there's a couple changes in uh, 18025. Uh, one is related to Mill Bottom Annex here in Jeff City, a uh, building there that they, uh, the state would like to rehab um, some money for the state capital complex. And the second year of the transfer to the State Capital Commission uh, Capital Preservation Fund. On page four, there's some changes in Department of Ag, 18035. These all changes pertain to the state fairgrounds. Page six, top of page six, which is in DNR. These two changes pertain to state parks, Bennett Springs and Arrow Rock State Park. And those are the changes that were the, in 18. 
All right, thank you, Adam. Uh, House Bill 19 is the CI, the Capital Improvements Bill. Uh, and for those of you that were following along yesterday, uh, in, in 19 and 20, 20 obviously is the continuation of the ARPA bill that we had last year. We tried uh, as much as we could to keep the ARPA dollars in 20 and, and balance things in the CI bill by, I mean, quite frankly, moving them, some of them came from operating bills and were put in the CI and some were vice versa. So we'll walk through those real quick. So 19 is the CI bill. 19, the first page pertains to the higher ed institutions and this is part of the capital, their capital items. And these items were moved to House Bill 20 because a lot of the items listed here in 19 are the same items that are in 20. So we just, we put them together so they're in one bill. Senator Hoskins. So I, I know yesterday the Senate conferees and, and decided to move some things to House Bill 19. Are all those reflected in House Bill 19? Yeah, so the, the spreadsheet you've got in front of you, Senator, is... Is this a Senate committee substitute? Well, it, it will be a Senate committee substitute if we go ahead and adopt it, but the changes that were made in the committee yesterday are now enumerated in this, and like I said, they're, the, the changes here from anything that the House did, and then obviously we either did... Um, yesterday or this morning, quite frankly, we've been working on this and that's why, and I apologize for being a little, a little tardy for getting started this morning. We were still making additions and changes to 19 and 20 this morning, but they, they should be Senator enumerated in bold. So you should be able to find those pretty easy. Okay, but yes, or page three, okay. I just wanted to make sure that I know that there were some capital improvement items that were left in the operating. Correct. And including two airports, and then there was one airport that was moved to 19. Yeah, I mean. So I, I just wanted to make sure that. Yeah, that, double check and make sure. I mean, it, it was my intent, and I, I think I stated it several times yesterday while we were working through those operating bills uh, in conference, that it was my intent that the projects that were moved into 19 obviously ended up here, Senator. So they're here and and you may not have heard this uh, at the beginning of this but to the extent that we can I would hope that we can keep changes at this point to a minimum however if there are if there are glaring things or, or you know in, intentions from the committee or individual senators that we didn't end up getting in these uh, committee subs I'm not opposed senator to drafting floor subs to make sure those projects are correct and and right, and we've got a couple of changes in 20 uh, when we get to that here in a minute. But I'll All right, make. thank you, Mr. You Chairman. Bet. Do you want me to uh, line by line, or? I mean, as quickly as you would like, but. Um, I mean, I can jump, uh, page two is Office of Administration. Uh, there was some items there that the House and the Senate are not recommending. Uh, Department of Ag, those two items were moved. Uh, natural resources, those were all the same there with the House. Conservation stayed the same. Public safety stayed the same. National Guard, the AVCRAD, Springfield, that one was moved to 20. Uh, Department of Corrections on page bottom of page 2 is the same. And on page 3, DESE. Uh, these, there were a couple items moved here and also an added for DESE um, for a school district. Page three, there were some more higher ed items that were added in 219. These were new, not associated with the 5050 or the new CI projects. And then as you discussed uh, earlier in Department of Transportation, there were some items moved, changed. Uh, some of these are in the operating budgets. Some were left here. Yeah, I think, I think one notable uh, change that we made is on page, kind of the, about two-thirds of the way down, page three, uh, we went ahead. The House was uh, fairly intent on the low-volume road money that the previous chairman of this committee established last year at $100 million. And so what you see, we took it out of House Bill 4, and it's in 
19 at $100 million, which is what that line was last year. Page four, we have some, uh, the departments start to re repeat, and that's just because we had to go to the next available section. So Office of Administration, again, there were some changes made here, an item added in the proposal. Uh, Department of Ag, the uh, co-op that was moved to 18. Then there was another item added for a hemp program. Uh, Department of Natural Resources, these are water or wastewater, drinking water, sewer type items. Uh, a couple state parks. And then at the bottom of page four is economic development. These are related to some industrial parks and community improvement items. On to page five. Middle of page five, Department of Public Safety. There were two items added there. Department of Mental Health. There were some items to get out because they were put in the operating department of social services. There's one item under that. And then on page six, uh, there were the, the first item was moved to 12 and the second item there on the top of page six is, was a new item added. Mr. Chairman. Yeah, Senator Hoskins. What, what is the gospel music hall of fame? Senator May or Williams, yes. you want to speak to that? The Gospel Music Hall of Fame. I don't know if you know the foundry that they built in St. Louis. I do not. Yeah. Well, the Gospel Music Hall of Fame is a uh, like a museum uh, on gospel music, and they're uh, rebuilding it in the middle of Central City in St. Louis. So it's like a history of uh, all uh, gospel music from all over and things like that. So is it a current museum or is this this building a new museum or is this just buying artifacts to go in the museum? I guess no. I, I'm just not familiar. So it so it's a it's a current building, a okay. historical So there's already building. a gospel music hall of fame. Right. Okay. And so what they're doing is they're renovating it. All right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I should finish up 19. Uh, Adam, you want to go through House Bill 20? House Bill 20, as most may recall, it last year it was 3020, and it included the American Rescue Plan Act dollars, the ARPA dollars. So if that project was in the TAFP and in the budget last year and wasn't uh, removed or vetoed, then those items appear again because we are reappropriating essentially those items are reappropriated because it's going to take several years to spend those dollars. So um, that's uh, a lot of the ARPA things are this very similar or the same with just a few minor changes. And then there's also the addition of new items here like the universities, like I stated earlier, that was taken out of 19 and put here because they are very, some of them are the same projects. So uh, again, in the departments, we jump back and forth between departments just because of how they, they were laid out in the bill last year. Uh, Department of Transportation on the first page, there's some port money being added here. Um, Office of Administration, there's a, a state building, a warehouse, um, those, those OA type items, they were in uh, House Bill 19 and were moved here or added. Lieutenant Governor, there's... Yep. Senator Hoskins. What is 20.033, design and construct a $26 million warehouse for storage in Cole County? That seems like an awful big warehouse. It's 20. probably a pretty good sized warehouse. I would uh, say Senator, so. that's, that's something that came to us, uh, if memory serves me correctly, from the administration that is, <clears throat> excuse me, consolidating some other facilities that you're, they're utilizing currently and building out a, a warehouse right here in Cole County. Okay, do we do we know what other facilities that they're consolidating? I'm sure that we can get a list of those. I'm sure that we can get, I'm getting a head nod from our audience. I'm sure we can get right. a list of it, the facilities that are going to be I mean, consolidated it, into into one centralized location, I've, I'm sure. Because I, I've been told that we have a lot of empty space that we're leasing and that we own as a state yeah and if you remember uh house bill 13 is the real estate 
uh, bill. And I mean, I will I will give credit where credit is due here. I think the administration has done a pretty fair job of right sizing those state facilities and utilizing buildings that we own and consolidating leases so that actually long term we're going to end up saving money. Well, I, I would hope so because yeah. it, it pains me to think if we're out there, you know, leasing 5,000 square foot of space and only using 1,000 square yeah. foot of it. Yeah, that makes sense. And so, um, but, but a $26 million storage facility seems, that's got to be one heck of a storage facility. I, I don't even have, like how many square foot that is. I mean. Yeah, Senator, I'm more than happy to get some, get some more details for you on that. All right. Thank you. And, you and then uh, the Missouri Western Chiefs training camp, what, what are we doing for the training camp for the Chiefs? I'm going to defer to my vice chair on that All one. Right. So periodically the Chiefs, whenever they have training camp up in St. Joe, will ask for some upgrades on the campus. So last year we did some security upgrades in the dormitory um, where they stay because Somebody broke into the dorm, I think, and so there's some additional upgrades that the Chiefs want to continue training. So these are security upgrades? They're not necessarily security upgrades. These are just some infrastructure upgrades on campus. There's construction of a new building uh, that would be used. Um, I think they're planning on selling merchandise out of it this next um, upcoming camp, but that's, that's what that's for. Okay. Well, $3 million seems like quite a bit to have a souvenir shop. Well, the building will be used for other purposes whenever it's not being used for that purpose during camp right now. They use right now just a tent to sell merchandise out of. And so this would be something that would be used by the athletic department. So it'll be an asset for the university even when training camp's not going on. Okay. Thank you. Adam, go ahead. Okay. Any qu other questions? We're moving to page two. Department of Public Safety, uh, some veteran homes renovation there. County jails, a couple items added there. The next gen 911, additional added to that ARPA project as it was started last year. Mr. Chairman. Senator Hoskins. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. What is, what are we doing at the Cape Girardeau Veterans Home for 12 million bucks? Senator Thompson Rader, you want to. I support the Veterans Home, and sure. I, I know usually we use the Veterans Capital Improvement Trust Fund on those, so. And I've been a big right. advocate to get maintain our yep. veterans. So, Senator Thompson Rader. This is um, this now. This isn't something that I put in, but I know what it is. And okay. so, if there's another senator that actually helped me with this and needs to say additional, please do. Um, in 2019, we had a bid and, and renovation scheduled, and then when 2020 hit we didn't get to do those and so we have um and then because of that we lost the federal funding and then we've considerably um gone down since that time because we haven't gotten the federal funding and so this helps get us those renovations that we needed back in 2019 that's now gotten worse okay and um and so that's what that money would would cover right. Do you, I mean, I know in the Warrensburg Veterans Home, they're about at half capacity. I think they can hold 200 people, and they've only got 97 in there, and they've got about 100 people on the waiting list because they can't find staffing. I'm sure that's probably going on in Cape Girardeau and the other we are veterans' homes as well. We are having that problem also, and then due to some of the facility needs, um, there's also a problem with filling some of the beds because of that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Adam, go ahead. Okay. Social services, uh, a couple items added there for OSH, Ozark Community Health Center AIDS project at the Ozarks. Mr. Chairman. Senator Housing. Thank you. What is the AIDS projects of the Ozarks? That is a FQHC that is uh, located in the, uh, it's in, I think it's in the southwest part. I'm sure it's in the southwest part of the state. That is doing a capital improvement type um, addition to their facility. I think they've seen, and I'm 100% going just from memory on this, they've, they've seen a, a fairly large increase in the clients that they're serving since, um, since they received their FQHC status, I believe, at the beginning of this year. 
and they're looking to expand the facility that they currently are operating in to just to serve more clients. And I think the $5 million line here is uh, maybe a, not even a quarter of the project. I mean, we're in no way paying the majority of that, uh, that project cost. What, why is it called AIDS? Uh, I mean, my, my understanding is they're, the FQHC serves, I mean, I think they serve any and all population, but uh, specifically it was built out as a, uh, and I, I, I can get more information for you, but I think it was built out as a, um, as essentially like, a, like an HIV kind of clinic whenever the federal legislation passed years ago. I'll, I'll get more information okay. for you on it, but All right. that's. Thank you. Sure, going 100% from memory on that one. Yep, go ahead, Adam. Okay, then page two, under DESE, there were some items added for Special Olympics, a couple school districts, preschool, infant care. Middle of page three is Department of Ag. There were some more items added for the state fairgrounds. Senator Arthur. What is the Recovery Lighthouse Johnson County location? Senator Hoskins. Yes, uh, Recovery Lighthouse. This, I believe, was actually in, was this one that was moved last night in out of Senate Bill 10, I believe? I think it was a root. No. No, this uh, is this was this added has ARPA last dollars, year. Right? It was in it was in thirty twenty last year. So this is the item from last year. for okay. it again this year. So Recovery Lighthouse, they help out with uh, drug and uh, alcohol addiction, and so uh, they are in Johnson County. They've also expanded out of Pettis County, and so um, I've been visited their facilities. This is money for their facilities and for their programs. Sounds like a great program. I defer to you Thank on that. You. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank mm you. -hmm. Thanks, Senator Williams. Adam, go ahead. Okay, if we could uh, mention the Department of Ag and some state fairground improvements there and renovations. Uh, page four, a couple items added in DED. Otherwise, the rest of the page, they're all the same. Page five. Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, back on page four, DED, the Dinosaur Museum. Is this for like Barney or is this for? Go ahead, Adam. Uh, well, my understanding, this is in Jeff County, I believe. Jefferson County? Yes. Is there currently a dinosaur museum? I believe there is. They have a site where they've found dinosaur bones. Okay. But this, this, but they... Do they currently have a museum there for dinosaurs, or they just found some dinosaurs? I don't think they have a current one. Okay, and, and so this, this money is to build the museum, or to, this is just to help excavate? To help start that process. Yeah, I think, Senator Hoskins, you've been around here long enough to know that uh, $500,000 isn't going to build an entire facility. Uh, right, not, not with the wages and we this is, uh, you, you probably remember from your time on this committee, this is something that has uh, percolated from that community for a number of years. And uh, this year, we went ahead and decided to put it in 20 to give them at least the start to get this, uh, to get this educational facility going. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yep. Go ahead, Adam. Uh, page four, Office of Administration. There was uh, call centers. That was an oversight in House Bill 5, so that's why it's, it's here. Uh, top of page five, there was a funding switch on the Law Enforcement Training Center. Department of Mental Health, middle of page five, Behavioral Health Crisis Centers and Residential Alternatives. Uh, page, uh, and there was an item added for DNR, another water project there in the middle of page five. Page six is where those items, you'll see that the current ones that were in 20 from last year and then the, the money that was added in from 19 is also reflects those differences here between the House and the Senate. 
page 7. Those projects continue. And then the next set of items are all similar to last, last year. Page 8. They're asking. Thank, you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. On, uh, yes, page 7, uh, 20.846, the nonprofit park and sports complex. Where, can you tell me a little bit about that, like where it's located? And It's in uh, mid-Missouri for a not-for-profit organization. Is it a specific not-for-profit organization? Uh, I'd have to look at the language in the bill. And when we say I'm, mid, I'm sure it is, Senator. I mean, all these. I mean, you know how we write these bills, and right. Uh, you know that the language associated with the dollar amounts is specific to locations and entities. To go ahead and make sure that uh, the intent of the committee and the General Assembly is followed through whenever those dollars are awarded, after we presumably pass these bills. What uh, do we know? What nonprofit this is for? For an organization that works with youth. Okay. All right. An organization that works with youth. All right. Non yeah. Yes. Nonprofit. Yes. Well, that that pretty much narrows it down. <laughs> um, if we could just find out what what nonprofit that is, I, I would appreciate it. Thank you. You bet. Go ahead, Adam. Eight. Page eight. Uh, I don't, uh, well, there was an increase uh, for public safety in the middle for the Police Foundation of Kansas right, City. Right, yeah, that, the House did uh, essentially half of the ask on that Police Foundation, and we did the other half to make it a total of $6 million. House put three in, we did another three. Page nine. There was just one change uh, there in the middle of the page, economic development, switching the, uh, between those two organizations. Um, the bottom of page nine was it's a non-count that's added to make sure that the funds are in the appropriate uh, ARPA fund. There's four of these ARPA funds, so it would be allowing to move those between the correct one. And the last Page 10 is just summaries, de department totals, fund numbers, totals. And I think the only uh, late addition as of this morning that is not enumerated in this spreadsheet is a $55 million line if, uh, for pre-K. It was, it was the intent of the conference committee last night to make sure that those dollars were able to be expended and We've, we've run into a, a little bit of a snag on the language associated with the utilization of that, uh, that additional money. So we're plugging that in 20 with the associated language so that uh, DESE will be able to utilize those funds that were intended in uh, House Bill 2. Right, Adam? Yes. That's correct. So any other questions from the committee? Yes, Senator Hoskins. What's uh, what's your in intention on? I guess your vote. We're voting these out today. From yeah, the intent. I mean, you know, then, we're you know we're up against a six o'clock deadline on not just the operating bills, but also these last four bills. Correct. So, the intent uh, from myself is that the committee do what we've done in the past, which is essentially treat this hearing and markup and adoption of these committee substitutes as. Uh, as, as the, the formal process to go ahead and move these out of committee, read them into the floor today so that they can be on the calendar and then presumably go to them tomorrow and finish up our one constitutional duty as a legislature. Good. Thank you. You bet. Any other questions? Yeah, the, other, the only other change in 20, we've got a county change on a nursing facility that we had, uh, we, had, we had written down as Knox County. It's actually in Shelby County. So there's, I mean, it's, so we're going we're gonna to clarify the actual location of the facility that we're talking about there. 
Anything else, Adam? With that, I would make a motion that we move into executive session. Second. I've got a second. We're in executive session. Uh, first bill up for consideration for the committee is House Bill Number 17. I make a motion that we bring up before the committee the House Committee substitute for House Bill 17. Do I have a second? second? I have a second. The House Committee substitute is before the committee, and like I said, uh, th there were no changes in 17 from the House version. So I would make a motion that we do pass House Committee substitute for House Bill 17. Do I have a second? second. I have a second. Any discussion on House Committee substitute for House Bill 17? Hearing none, Adam called the roll on the do pass motion, House Committee substitute for House Bill 17. To do pass, House Committee substitute for House Bill 17. Senators Huff. Aye. Luke Demeyer. Aye. Huff, Arthur. Aye. Bean. Aye. Black. Aye. Brown. Aye. Sirapoy. Aye. Crawford. Aye. Esslinger. Aye. Hoskins. Aye. May. Aye. Thompson Rader. Washington. Williams, 14-0. All right, voted 49, zero no, you voted do pass. House Committee Substitute for House Bill 17. I now make a motion we bring up for consideration before the committee. House Bill, or House Committee Substitute for House Bill 18, do I have a second? second. I have a second, the bills before the committee. Uh, again, there were a couple of changes, this is the maintenance and repair, so I'd make a motion that we adopt the Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 18, do I have a second? second. I do have a second on the adoption motion of the Senate Committee Substitute. Any discussion on that adoption motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of adopting the Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 18, say aye. 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 Those to the contrary say no. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. You have adopted the Senate Committee Substitute. I now make a motion we do pass Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 18. Do I have a second? second. I do have a second. Any discussion on the do pass motion for the Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 18? <laughs> Hearing none, Adam, call the roll on the do pass motion. To do pass Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 18. Senators Huff. Aye. Luke Tamayer. Arthur, Bean, Black, Brown, Sirapoy, Crawford, Esslinger, Hoskins, May, Thompson Rader, Washington, Williams, 14 0. All right, voted 14 9 0. No, you voted do pass on Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 18. I now make a motion we bring it for consideration before the body House Bill number 19. Do I have a second? I do have a second. Um, again, there were changes. This is the CI bill, so I would make a motion that we adopt the Senate Committee substitute for House Committee substitute for House Bill 19. Do I have a second? second. I do have a second. Any discussion on the adoption motion of the Senate Committee substitute for House Committee substitute for House Bill 19? Senator Hoskins. On any of these bills, are you planning on having a Senate substitute? Or yeah, and I, I, I've mentioned it twice, and I'll mention it again. If there are, uh, if there are issues that individual senators uh, do see or would like to change I'm, I'm more than happy I, I would like to keep it to a minimum but I am not uh, opposed to floor substitutes if there are if there are language issues or you know inaccuracies in a dollar amount or something like that that a specific project that you have enumerated in this bill or anybody else wants to wants to clarify or change I'm, I'm not completely opposed to that and I think I said earlier that I'm sure the staff downstairs sorry Dana is gonna hate me but I'm okay with working it that right. way. Thank you. You bet. Any other discussion on the adoption motion of the Senate Committee Substitute? Hearing none, all those in favor of adopting Senate Committee Substitute or House Committee Substitute for House Bill 19 say aye. aye. Those to the contrary say no. The ayes appear to have the ayes do have it. You have adopted the Senate Committee Substitute. I now make a motion that we do pass Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 19. Any, dis thank you, got a second. Any discussion on that do pass motion? <laughs> Hearing none, Adam called the roll on the do pass motion. To do pass Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 19, Senators Huff, Aye. Luke Tamire, Arthur, Bean, Aye. Black, Aye. Brown, Sirapoy, Crawford, Aye. Esslinger, Aye. Hoskins, Aye. May, Aye. Thompson Rader, Washington, Aye. Williams, 14 0. By your vote of 49 0 no, you voted do pass on Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 19. I now make a motion to bring it for consideration. Before the committee, House Committee Substitute for House Bill 20. Do I have a second? second. I do have a second. The House Committee Substitute for House Bill 20 is before the committee. I now make a motion that we adopt the Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 20. Do I have a second? second. I do have a second. Any discussion on the adoption motion for the Senate Committee Substitute? This is a continuation of the 3020 bill from last year, the ARPA funding. Hearing none, all those in favor of adopting the Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 20 say aye. aye. Those to the contrary say no. 
Yes, yeah, Peter Depp, yes, you have, you have adopted the Senate Committee substitute for the House Committee substitute for House Bill 20. I now make a motion we do pass Senate Committee substitute for House Committee substitute for House Bill 20. Do I have a second? I've got a second. Any discussion on the do pass motion for the Senate Committee substitute of this ARPA bill? Hearing none, Adam, call the roll on the do pass motion for the Senate Committee substitute. To do pass 20. Senate Committee substitute for House Committee substitute for House Bill 20. Senators Huff, Aye. Luke Tamayer, Arthur. Bean, Aye. Black, Aye. Brown, Sirapoy, Crawford, Aye. Esslinger, Aye. Hoskins, Aye. May, Aye. Thompson Raider, Aye. Washington, Aye. Williams, 14 0. I voted 14 9 0. No, you voted do pass on the Senate Committee Substitute for House Committee Substitute for House Bill 20. And I make a motion we go out of executive session. I have a second. We are out of executive session. Before I adjourn this committee, I do want to tell the members of this committee, and not only the members of this committee, but for our tens of thousands of listeners online and the members of the House, how much I appreciate the work uh, over the past several months in uh, compiling all of these, <clears throat> excuse me, appropriations bills. Uh, I know it's it's a it's an arduous task, and I appreciate uh, the work that everybody's put into this. So, with that, we're adjourned.